Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will... Juventus against AC Milan. Well, I'm Peter Drury, and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Begley. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere, and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Well, if we're talking about strong characters, Gigi Buffon is uh, an easy choice. A class act for me whose presence gives confidence to everyone else in the team. He's a colossus, uh, an Italian treasure. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Benucci. Aim forward. Benatia. De Chilio. With a long pass. Dybala. Romagnoli. Boops it upfield. Long and high towards the flank. Dybala, delivery from Dybala, he will be livid with himself. A chance! Higuain, Higuain shoots! It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well... Not really, to be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Romagnoli, spoon forward. He's through. It's one! Goal! Milan! And Milan have the lead! What about that, Jim Beglin? Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Juventus trail at this early stage. How will they respond? Bonaventura cuts it out. Oh, good interception. It's a long forward pass. Silva. Chalanolu, a oh, great ball! Shapes the shoots! Always going over the top. Yeah, high and, and pretty harmless, but as long as he learns his lesson, I think next time his focus has got to be on just keeping it down. Buffon gets it away. Bonaventura sticks in a foot to win it back. Romagnoli tries to get it forward quickly. Now it's Dybala, the uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Usakio. He's got it on the right now, what's on? Suso delivers. And back out it comes. Chelhanolu. Bonaventura. It's come loose. It's gone for a throw-in. Done very well to intervene. Pulls out once more. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Can he score? He's done very well to get to that. That wasn't the easiest of saves by any means, Peter, and I think his instincts were... Well, they were just razor sharp. And out to safety. Milan with another corner. Tries a through ball. Suso. Dushilio gets it back. Dushilio demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Well, we were unlikely to see a goal then because there were so many players crowding out that danger area. I think something very special was going to be needed. Forward it goes. Now the pass. And he's there to cut it out. Managed to get it away. 
And it's Matuidi. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, it was a case of, of good awareness, too. That wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass it. Only needed just a little bit more behind it, and he was through. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Can he find a finish now? Looking to force his way through. They've done it! Two to the good! They have breathing space! He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. Yeah, and I think we may have had too many defenders ball-watching then, because they just lost sight of the real danger. Milan have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Chiellini positions himself well and cuts it out all the way back and they start again to Chilio and the half-time whistle goes see a views on the first half Milan will be asked to reproduce something similar to that first half performance after the restart they've asserted an authority and they really shouldn't complicate things from here Milan sitting pretty here at half-time 2-0 up been intercepted and that will come to nothing driving on he could shoot here Bonucci very firm in standing his ground there it is a tough full contact contest Silva passes it through defense has got rid of that Douglas Costa brought forward what does he try from here That'll go straight through to the keeper. Aimed long and direct. Dybala! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. Yeah, the ball in there was simply superb. He won't be too happy that it's gone to waste like that. Now it's Bonaventura. Played in deep. Great leap! And the lead is three! It is surely done! Oh, the cross was inch perfect and the header unerring. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Milan take a three goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Matuidi. Pushes it out wide. Dybala crosses in a low one. The ball's come loose and the chase is on. It was all about the quality of the delivery and they come away with nothing. Silva. The keeper's got good distance on that. Dybala, Douglas Costa, chance! Right place, right time, um, it was just as well the defender was on hand to, uh, to pop it up. Silva, takes it over to the other flank, thrust towards the front line. De Chilio can hoist it clear. There is some activity down on the touchline, it seems there's going to be a change. Played out to the wing. Away from immediate danger. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Bonucci plays it out to the flank. Looks like a good ball through. Silva unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Matuidi battles to win it back. Quadrado. Hit long and direct. Higuain beats the offside trap. Lovely bit of skill. Ball's loose, who's getting there? And it's Quadrado. Up he gets! 
Oh, he got himself into a great position. Well, he was right in front of goal, and he probably should have scored, to be fair. Looks to slip it through. Well played, he saw that coming. Well, it's a safety in numbers approach to defending here. Yeah, but dropping deep can bring more trouble, yeah? Well, shots from distance and, and space in wider positions besides the obvious issue of inviting most of your opposition high up the pitch. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. A chance! He's off on a marauding run. He has done it! Yet another goal in an awesome performance! They are in complete charge! Well, that always looked the likely outcome. Well, I think the keeper has every reason to rip into that defence for allowing him to get into such a good position. Juventus have decided now is the time to make their final change. Milan tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Gonzalo Higuain! He is sensational! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Juventus have a goal, but it's hard to see it as anything much more than a consolation. De Chilio pumps it upfield. Romagnoli does well to read it and intercepts. Is there any support? He might not need it. Montalivo tries the route one option. It's a loose ball. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Uh, needed a better pass there. De Chilio. Who's going to make this theirs? Quick thinking by the keeper, he did well. Charles Hanolu tries a long pass towards the front. Benatia tries to get it forward quickly. And the referee brings it to a close. Milan, very much the dominant side, almost the only side. Every time they got on the ball, they looked like scoring. It is a landslide. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Look, this is a team that doesn't look as if it's daunted away from home. They were organised and determined, and they can surprise again if that standard is maintained. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.